Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today is the 9th of August 2021 and we are just coming out of another weekend of frustration for Games Workshop fans. For those of you who don't know, at 10am on Saturday, Games Workshop launched pre-orders for their Hexfire Battle Box, comprising elite forces of Grey Knights and Thousand Sons, with some fancy new hero characters that are going to be available as separate purchases later, but are currently only available in this box. The set retailed for £105 in the UK, and as you can probably guess, demand was high. So high, in fact, pre-orders sold out within minutes. Again. And you can stop me if you've heard this one before. Games Workshop having insufficient stock to cover pre-orders is becoming a frustrating and all too common occurrence, and people are rightly annoyed. It's reached the point where even Games Workshop are being moved to action and have plans to make sure these situations don't occur again, or at least don't occur so frequently. We'll talk about that more in a moment, but first it's worth emphasising the importance of this announcement in relation to forthcoming releases. In case it escaped your notice, Games Workshop have just announced that the new edition of Kill Team goes up for pre-orders this Saturday, that's the 14th of August, and the pre-order window is going to run for two weeks rather than one. Products include the launch box featuring all of the Orky terrain, the new Krieg Death Corps, and Orc Commando miniatures. And note, this isn't being called a starter set, although it is, this is being called a launch box. That means it's a limited product that won't be around forever, and they have said exactly that on the Warhammer community page. Of course, if you don't want to fork out for the launch box, there will be a host of other products going up for pre-order at the same time. That includes the core rules book, the compendium book, which has rules for 19 factions and is essential if you want to play with teams other than the Death Core or Commandos. So yes, that is an additional purchase you would have to make on top of the launch box or core rules book. There's a separate card pack, themed dice, and a pack containing all the tokens and measuring widgets. Basically everything that will allow you to start playing without having to buy that launch box. But I think it's probably fair to say that most people will want the launch box, and I think Games Workshop realises that. And that is why, even though they have said they have printed loads, they are taking extra steps to make sure everyone who wants one will get one. At this point, I think I'm just going to read a few lines from their recent Warhammer community post where they are making a pre-order promise. They state, Running out of stock sucks. We know we've let you down in the past, so we're going to do something about it right now. This weekend, Games Workshop is making a promise to everyone who orders Kill Team Octarius during the pre-order weekend. We guarantee you'll get a copy. Simple. So feel free to answer that doorbell or take your cat downstairs knowing you don't need to scour the internet and pay some dirty scalper a cut just to get the latest box set. Everyone who pre-orders a copy of the new Kill Team this weekend will get one. Now Kill Team Octarius is the first time we're making a pledge like this. We've made absolutely loads of copies, but we've been wrong about demand before, so just rest assured if you order one on the pre-order weekend, we'll get it to you. So that sounds great. It basically means as long as you get your order in on Saturday or Sunday, you will get a copy of the game. But while it may at first seem like this is taking the pressure off gamers to be waiting at their computers at 10am to make a pre-order, there are some caveats that make it clear there is still going to be a rush and still a risk that some people are going to miss out on things they want. First of all, Games Workshop just couldn't resist another limited edition pre-order bonus. If you order directly, you will get a special measuring widget in a presentation box. It's a celebration of what is, for me, the silliest new addition to the rules, a custom measuring doodad. These pre-order incentives are on a first-come, first-served basis, so if you aren't one of the first to lock in your order with Games Workshop, then you may miss out. And on the subject of first-come, first-served, that's how they are going to handle pre-orders too. If you are late to the party, you will have to wait longer to receive your box, and Games Workshop have said it could take several months to fulfil your order. Finally, I'm not sure how this impacts third-party sellers. I always pre-order the things I want from Element Games, because I want to benefit from their online discount, but I suspect the pre-order promise would not extend to such retailers. It may be the case that stores only get their fixed quantities for pre-orders and it's necessary to order from Games Workshop Direct to take advantage of this pre-order promise. Despite those caveats, this is a really positive move from Games Workshop and I was really happy to hear it. 
Being involved in a hobby should never be stressful, and you should never have to feel like you must hover over your computer at a specific time to get the things you want. This may not be a complete solution, but it bodes well moving forwards, as Games Workshop have also indicated they will be taking similar measures for other products like the Black Templars. And I get some satisfaction seeing them pulling no punches and using the term dirty scalpers in the article. It's almost sounding like they care, although it's probably fair to say it's more that they are being forced to care because their current situation of having stock limitations and constantly disappointing fans is becoming untenable. But I think that's all I have to say about that, so it's over to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments because that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.